It's a real regime almost. Oh, hell no. They're talking about me. All I needed was one ball. The science of training. And I know you don't think it's a sport. How much do you work out now? Do you still go, like, do you still work out around, you know, around the chest, basically? Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm training every day. Well, you know, like a normal bodybuilding train. But uh, I'm just not training with as much weight and with as much drive, you know. I just, because I'm scared about, like, even when I train legs, like I said before, like, I'm scared about something te something else tearing or even just my internal, like, pressure of, of, of like, <clears throat> you know, like driving through a leg press or something that might might tweak my pec or something, you know. I'm just going in there, pumping blood around and, you know, leaving. And again, just from using my arm again, it's kind of like doubled in size and it's changed my physique a lot over the last few weeks, especially if you look at my a few of the photos I've posted. You know, my, my whole side of my body was really like completely different from this side because I was training this side again, like one arm while I was in a sling. And I really kind of like lost proportion, but it's coming back now, you know. And uh, I just, I just got to keep focused to make sure nothing else goes wrong. And we saw out these cysts, to be honest. You mentioned you were very heavy set, right? As a, as a teenager. Yeah. So does that mean like right now you have to diet extra hard, or like what's what's your kind of like diet routine right now? Do you still is that like what's your body like what's your body type? <laughs> yeah, it is actually. You know, like. So even over the years, I've really had to diet hard, especially being so tall with so much muscle. Because again, from when I started bodybuilding to, to last year's stage weight, I was actually 305 pounds last year on stage. Um, I've gained like 70 kilos of, of muscle mass, you know. So I've changed my, my physiology of my body a lot, right? And uh, I still need to diet really hard. Like I'm still doing three hours of cardio some years, you know, zero carbs. My body's just, my body just works, you know, like I can, I can hold my weight on, on like, not like a, you know, it sounds really crazy if you've got like the calorie deficit, maintenance calories, and then like, what are you going to, what are you going to gain muscle, body fat on, right? I can like, I can keep the same body weight with a lot less calories than what it does to push up, you know, as soon as I start like going from, okay, I'm maintaining to, I need to put muscle on now, my body just starts climbing, 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 climbing. And I sometimes have to hold it back so much because obviously I'm like, I'm really, I'm feeling it, you know, like 320 pounds is, is okay for me. And once I get above 320, it's when I'm like struggling to get up the stairs. And that's when I feel unhealthy, you know, like now at 305, 310, I feel quite athletic, you know, <laughs> I feel like an athlete. <laughs> I feel really small. Wow. Yeah, but my body holds it very well, you know, but uh, again, it's just something that's caused a lot of, uh, talk over the years the people were saying that I was lying about my weight and uh, people were calling me out on it and I had to do videos about me getting on the scale because I was like lying about my weight but yeah before the injury this was a big thing you know uh, like Boston Lloyd called me out on it when I was like 18 and then a couple of the UK pro bodybuilders called me out on it and I get, like just before the injury I did another video on it I'm just like I, I'm not like this man I don't know why you think I talk I talk bad and you know, I, I'm just not this guy. <laughs> you do a lot of cardio. What's what kind of cardio do you do usually? Yeah, so you like cardio now. Even since the injury, I'm doing like 30, 40 minutes every day on the treadmill, um, incline, three and a half speed, three and a half. You know, just because obviously from that, I knew I was going to lose muscle, but uh, I didn't want to get lose muscle and get really fat, right? Because obviously I kind of I relax on everything, and I was like, I still I still got a drive in my heart to do something, you know. So I had to still kind of stay in shape. But yeah, I always do a treadmill or not because especially being so heavy and tall, when I do the stairs, it really beats up my joints, my knees, my hips and everything. It really takes it away from my training. So I try to keep it a, um, like as stress-free as I can. But uh, I do really, I, I'm one of those guys that works hard at my cardio, you know, like I'm not one of those guys that just steps along. Like I'm, I'm drenched in sweat working on cardio. And I don't know, my body just, gets lean and i stayed lean but it's the, it's the difference between being lean and stage lean right that's where i struggle to get down like i can stay lean like without struggling but to get stage lean is where my body really fights to get down and that's when i've got to really like grind it out you know really starve really put do a lot of cardio